Alright, what is going on guys? It is Bonte, and yes, we are back here on the Infinite Warfare Beta. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys my best sniping class on here. The Beta, yes, yes. As you can see, I did a trick shot video, and that class is, as you can see, right there. But this one, which is different, and now, of course, we don't have the Intervention Unlocked, sadly, on this weekend's beta possibly in the next weekend i believe they might do it but as you can see here i do have overkill and i have both snipers on both now these perks are the same which will go into depth uh once again and if you haven't seen my trick shot uh class video then make sure you go have a look at it right now if you are a trick shot or sniper but i'm sure you guys will do a mix of both just as such as myself and my trick shot but let's get straight into it now for the site you could do variable zoom thermal and of cost the elo which is like a red dot tracking chip who upgrades the default optics to outline enemy targets oh that's something new i haven't actually used that now <laughs> before this goes into a video of I, I don't know what these these new attachments are crazy such as like foregrip which wasn't really uh, on snipers and i was surprised that this was implemented onto this uh, game and uh, it's just crazy as it's a bit of a cool foregrip that reduces recoil as you can see now into the uh, snipers, as you can see. Now, the longbow, which is bolt action, of course. And we have that uh, nice green camo on it. Now, optics, the, the same optic is good as it is. And the main one you want to have as an attachment is quick draw. Custom grip, fa face, fast aiming, down sights. Of course, you'd want to scope down quicker and get that kill quicker and get in your sight and your scope quicker. And quick scope, obviously, you're going to quick scope quicker with it overall. And for grip, vertical grip that reduces recoil of course you don't want your gun flying across your screen and for that reason you might want to have fall grip stock i was looking at this thinking of putting it on but this is just while aiming down down your sights but you're going to be doing more quick sub and so that doesn't really matter and now why i have is the widow maker now the widow maker it's known for getting a lot of hit markers i don't know how i hit that shot with the widow maker which was phenomenal and people tell me how have you hit that and i was surprised that i even hit that myself after hearing that many people say you get tons of hit markers and basically, for saying anything else, quick draw once again and full grip on this. Now, probably the best thing to put on the Widowmaker is FMJ. If you have it unlocked, make sure you put on FMJ on the Widowmaker because otherwise you will get quite a lot of hit markers with it. But sometimes you do get the quick scopes, but you, you, but you sometimes, majority of times, you don't. And that's unlucky. So, and now onto the perks. No lethals, no tacticals, but you can switch it up. You can put maybe um, a trophy system down so you just don't get grenaded down. Uh, lethals, you could put down anything, to be honest. As you can see there, cluster grenades, exploding drone. Anything you see down here, the C4. There's, a, I believe there's a throwing knife somewhere. I believe that, no. Throw, yeah, that's a ballistic, yeah, throwing knife there. Now, onto the perks, which are the same, but I'm going to go into depth with them because you might want to apply them to how you play. Now, uh, Recon, which is the minimap, is just going to be bigger. Now, you might want this uh, to see where people are. If you always have the UAV on, this will benefit you a lot by seeing them where they are. So, it says minimap shows a larger area, gain a single radar sweep when a standard enemy UAV appears and another one dies. So, that is kind of useful. If you always look at your map, you want to have a bigger map. That will definitely help you out. And blind eye undetected by AI, you don't really need that. But if a, if there is like a lot of streaks coming in, you might want to apply that. Blast shield, increase the resistance to explosive damage. Once again, all of these kind of just, you can switch it up. See which one benefits you most. Invisible to UAV and radar pings, which is the one I would have. But this one, reload for this class specifically, reload and switch weapons faster. Now, you if you do have a pistol, then you don't really want that. Maybe, unless you want to quickly pistol switch. But if you have like an overkill like mine on the sniping class, you might want to have this as your um, first perk. Now, going on to the perk two, as you can see here, I have momentum, which you sprint faster over time, jumping, sliding, and wall running will reset your momentum. So basically, you just run fast and you can just quickly get the kills, get across the map, and you know, quickly get to the where the enemy team are. And the rest of these, you don't really need them. Tracker might help with uh, locating where the enemies are, so you could follow them, go behind them, and flank them. That would be a great uh, perk to have as the second one. Increased resistance to flash and stun effects so you don't keep on getting flashed and stunned because, you know, in sniper lobbies it does get kind of hectic as a, I can kind of tell. And uh, hardline, you don't really need that unless you're going for streaks. Cold-blooded, invisible to thermal detection systems enemies cannot see on nameplate. So if you want to go undetected, well, that is the perk for you. But I don't believe 
I would be using that. Momentum is probably the best one you want to have for now. Now, onto perk 3, which I've got is Marksman, which basically is that you see the name tags from a longer distance. Now, that will definitely benefit you if you are sniping rather than, you know, close quarters SMG. And as you can see, acquire enemy names from a greater distance, reduced flinch that primarily affects sniper rifles, but gives a very minor benefit to other weapons. So you basically, as you can see there, flinch less, I believe, as it's trying to say, just quickly off, just trying to read it. Shoot, use equipment fast, uh, faster. You don't, you could possibly put this on, but I don't think it would benefit you a lot as much as Marksman. Maxwin is probably the best perk out of all these three. Now I'm just going to go through all of them just so you see what it says here because I know some of you guys might not have the beta, but you can just pause throughout this video and that's the reason why I'm going through every single one of them and I probably should go through the locked ones because uh, as you can see a dead silence, you might want to put that on as well. Pinpoint outline enemies when dealing taken cap. Not an engineer. You don't really need that. So Maxman probably is the best perk as you would want for both trick shotting and sniper. It's just the same perks as you guys can see, but this one it is different. And you could put possibly put an overkill, but just it's just uh, to have more ammo. To have more ammo to get more chances to get quick scopes, this would be a great class to use. Okay, so I'm just quickly in a game right now just to show you guys how this class kind of works out. And as you can see, you can just quickly change gu guns right there and you can just quickly get the quick scopes with the Widowmaker. I'm surprised I even got that kill. It's probably above, as you can guys see, like above the waist with the Widowmaker. And it's just with that with every single sniper, but the Widowmaker isn't the best first kills for the first bullet basically and as you can see there we did miss that so basically that is going to be it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy and you know use this class and tell me if you guys can hit any clips with it because you can easily just you know switch you can probably seem like get a kill switch class quickly and then i'm going ranting on about what you can get into the clips and stuff but i hope you guys did enjoy the sniper class tell me what you guys maybe might change to your different classes or whatever as you guys saw we just got the hit marker and i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you guys did find it helpful drop a like as it would be greatly appreciated thanks for watching as always it's been your boy bond peace